everybody. So I have a blanket around my head because I left the window open last night and it is freezing cold outside and now my apartment, it is basically an igloo right now. So please bear with me because I wanted to talk about my mental health journey and how I went from hating myself to loving myself. It was a very difficult process from not thinking about your deepest, darkest, most traumatic experiences. When I was a child, I went through a very rough patch and I never was able to forget it clung on to me, but I never really talked about anything I went through because I was never able to actually explain myself properly and I was never able to seek help and feel comfortable talking to anybody about me hating myself. I didn't feel comfortable talking about how I would hate my image, about how I could look into the mirror and not like anything I would see. And it was very difficult for me for a very long time to actually talk to other people. I was a very silent kid and for a while I could not find any happiness, any sort of happiness because I would keep getting trapped by the darkness. Darkness is my memories. It was like screaming in my head, you shouldn't go through these things by yourself. And that's what I was doing. I was facing the demons alone and I was not winning. I thought I was for a while, pushing away my thoughts and pushing away my memories, but really I was just making things worse. So I got older, I really was going down a deeper, deeper hole. I would want to feel anything but the pain and how I would want to feel anything in general because I couldn't feel anything for a while. I felt like just blank. It was very tough for a very long time to actually make a change in my life. I felt like this place of just stillness and I could not actually advance and make myself feel any better and I did not know how to make a change. And I just kept on trying to talk to this therapist but I never actually wanted to speak because these things would hurt me so much. And finally, I slowly started to open up very very slowly and finally things got better and i would talk to more people i was able to talk with these things about my friends because my friends have gone to very similar things as well and they don't know if it's really a safe place but you know i've talked to them and i'm like i will listen to you and i will respond because we've all been through that dark place we've all gone through that dark road and if not you will eventually because life is a mess life is really hard sometimes it might be okay for a very long time, but at the end of the day, you'll face something that you cannot overcome. And it is how you deal with that challenge and how you go through that, that make or breaks you. And I did not want to break myself. I don't want to basically give up on myself. I wanted to keep on fighting to make myself feel better. And sometimes you, you give up on yourself because you don't feel like you can actually get better. And that is a big mistake that a lot of people make. You should never give up on yourself. You are worth it. Every single one of you, I don't care what race, creed, ethnicity, religion, at the end of the day, every single person on this earth was put here for a reason. And every single person on this earth is worth it. At the end of the day, they have value to their life. They are people. Every person on this earth does not deserve to be disrespected. You should not disrespect anyone. I'm tired of people disrespecting people. I'm tired of this negativity. I get it that there's differences, but that shouldn't mean that we shouldn't be able to talk reasonably about these differences. If we could actually be able to talk about our differences, we would actually be able to make a change, but no, stick on the stuff we don't like. And that's what I did. That's what I did with my mental health. And it drove me nearly insane because we're able to talk to anybody and I was never able to actually improve my situation. I was never actually able to solve my problems and solve my memories and solve my trauma because I, I was not putting in enough effort at the end of the day, you have to go and do things if you want to improve. Nobody is accountable for you other than yourself. You have to do things sometimes that are very uncomfortable and are very unpleasant. Sometimes you don't want to do these things, but you have to. I remember being a very little child, praying and praying each night that everybody was okay. I didn't care about myself. I was praying for everybody in my family because I knew the pain they were going through. And I knew the suffering. But I knew that I could not do much except hope for better. Eventually, things did become better. Even if things had to change dramatically, things are okay now. And things always will change in life. And sometimes they will change so much that you're not really sure how they came about this way. But eventually, if you truly love somebody, they will come back to you. And that's the kind of people I surround myself with. People who I don't text for a whole year, I don't communicate for a whole year, but if I break a bone, if I'm hurt, if I'm in trouble, any sort of need, 
they will be there faster than anybody. I want people who I can trust. And trust is the big thing with me. I don't really trust a lot of people. Trust is the huge thing with me. It is so hard for me to trust people. And I would rather have a small little group of friends who I truly trust than a huge quantity of friends who I can barely even talk to, who I barely even want to see. You keep your good vibes going. Really just a place of good. You don't want to be trapped in your mental state. You don't want to be held back by yourself. So don't let yourself get held back.